know, that is the glass of the casino advertisement, which is a fabulous reflective piece. And here we have one of our um, retro sort of historic uh, or historicist poles, little pedestrian light. And they come in two or three different flavors because they're all lamped differently. We have the orangey ones, we have the white ones. Here's the white one. Now the casino building is, is uh, lit in a kind of what I call wedding cake style that I'm not necessarily for, but it, you know, people do love it, it's charming. And I guess that's the terminal tower, um, which I know they were trying to relight with LEDs and it looked pretty good, so it probably has that. Okay, here's one of those countdown signals that I call jewelry of the night as with most flashing items, including ATM lights. I love those. This is really about the vernacular lighting of the city and also some artwork. Um, these work really well, these columns, but as we were discussing earlier, you know, scale. Sometimes it's hard to get the right scale. And then sometimes lighting art looks good at night, but not during the day. There are some challenges there. I think that, um, you know, uh, string lighting or swag lighting, whatever you want to call it, Tivoli lighting is, again, always charming, evergreen, and adds a lot of animation. And here you've got that sort of charming old-fashioned thing with the more modernist artwork. Now something I notice a lot, and I've also noticed, for example, at Times Square, is reflections are very powerful and they add to the dynamism of an existing light form. You get to repeat it. Um, so whether it's in the rainy street or on windows or perhaps intentionally, we've done lots of reflective panels that intentionally reflect light into the street, for example. Here's a nice flashing uh, jewelry piece, a parking garage, which is just immense. And so you have to count it as one of the vernacular light contributions. These kind of alleyways are really, really fascinating, and I think most people have a blind spot towards them. You've got a number of them, and I find them to be mysterious and worthwhile. And here you have two kinds of alleyway lighting, reflections from broken glass that were pretty powerful, uh, more flashing light. And given the lack of traffic, in a way it adds some energy to the street. So just some impressions.